I love my country and how will I express my culture is through dance. I am Delia Richards and I've been teaching the Philippine folk dances since 1967. I actually didn't teach dancing at first. I learned how to dance and that was when I was five years old. I would say I was exposed to a family of artists and most of my relatives on my father's side and also on my, from my mother's side were dancers. I arrived in New Zealand in 1988 and I'm also one of the migrants who came to seek for greener pasture. I had a group of, of friends. We would always go out and the children, the families would come along and I looked at the children and I said, these migrant Filipino children are running around not knowing the Filipino culture. If the leader just allow these children to just go and adopt other cultures, what will happen to their mother culture? We started this this group actually, a small group of nine children, nine dancers, and that was in 1996. Dancers, can I have your attention please? Let's come forward. I am really proud to say that the Philippines is very rich in culture, and it is still being treasured and being preserved in the Philippines, in schools and in the community. We will have to practice because this is very important. This dance is very, very significant and this is an icon. Philippine dance tells us where we are from, where we are now, and where we are heading tomorrow. And up, look up, and to the left. The music tells us the mood of the time that the dance was introduced. The costume would also tell us the style of the colonial rulers who set foot in our country. And the movements would tell us the kind of people that we are from north to south. In the north, you will see the old dances, the dances from the mountains. In there, they still use the drums and the sticks as music. And the colors of the costume would signify the kind of tribe you are in. And the movement is more depicting the nature, like dance of the birds, dance for the rain, occupational dance, dance for stumping. Stumping would mean you are closer to the god. You call this kumintang. We call this kumintang. We can have it closed and we can have it open. When you go to the central part of the Philippines, you have lively music and smiling people with open hands because they say that this is for freedom. In the southern part, the influences of the Muslim is very, very strong there and the color of the costumes, the movements is, is similar to that of Bali, to Indonesia, we have the same noisy. of the dances. The uniqueness of our practices will be seen in the expression of how we dance, how we open our hands, how we close our hands, how we smile, how we raise our chin to the right, chin to the left, and even the dance formation will tell the story. Dance, I would say, is just a term after the Western colonization was introduced, but before it was their daily activity in communicating within the community. We have Filipinos here in New Zealand, and so obviously we don't have all the Filipino culture here with us, so it's kind of important for us to like, learn and have a bit of a taste of what it's like, so we can experience it here as well. We've been dancing this for centuries, and it's nice that somebody like my mother could come and teach us and the next generation as to what we are and who we are. I love it. I pass it on to my daughter, who is now one of the dancers as well. I like my grandma teaching us, and it's a really, really fun experience. We are preparing for the 
uh, Independence Day celebration. Uh, the celebration very important to us. My daughter was asking, was telling me, Mom, when was the first time that you we had this concert? I said that was in 1996. It's and me. You always keep on saying every year this is Where? the last. This is the Where? last concert. But every time I see my children, I it's a joy. It gives me good feelings. <laughs> in the Philippines as a student, and it has amazing. When you get out from your country, it tells you that this is your identity. Why I teach dance? Because I want the culture to to stay alive.